hello friends now the next topic is finite automata with output in my previous videos uh, we already discussed uh, the ta uh, first type of finite automata that is without output in which we cover dfa nfa and N uh, epsilon nfa now finite automata with output is of two type one is mure machine and another one is miele machine okay in this in both machines they will take input as well as keep on keep on writing output means as we give the input to the machine it simultaneously produce the output and print and print uh, as we move uh, as we move, uh, encounter the input or inputs so we discuss these two machines one by one with the help of an example but before moving ahead these two machines using consist of six tuples that is q sigma del q not capital delta and lambda both machines whether it is a mure or whether it is a miele machine both these machine consist of six tuples so first we discuss what these tuples mean the q first capital q is finite set of states okay then sigma represent the input alphabet then we have a del which is a transition function which uh, which we calculated from q into sigma which gives a another next state this means that depending upon the current state q and the input sigma depending upon the current state q and the input sigma we get the another state that is a q this represent a transition function with the del then q not represent the initial state cap this capital del represent the output alphabet which means that symbols which are supposed to be as which are supposed to be as output it represent by a capital delta and lambda is the output function we determine what will be the output okay so this output alphabet represent the symbols symbols which are supposed which are supposed to be an output okay so all those symbols comes under the category of output alphabet and we will represent it by capital delta and this lambda uh, determine determine what will be the what will be the output for the particular input so this represent the output function so all these six tuples we will use in both the machine in mure machine as well as in miele machine so with the help of this six tuple first we discuss about mure machine okay so in mure machine in mure machine it is a six tuple as we know that six tuples are q sigma del q not capital delta and lambda okay with the usual meaning for the symbols as we discussed earlier now the difference is with the lambda function in case of mure machine lambda will be q which represent which gives as capital delta what does it mean this means that delta is a function from q to capital delta which means for every state for every state because q is represent the finite set of state so for every state an output is associated delta capital delta is represent the output so this means for every state the output is associated okay so we take one example that how the mure machine works suppose uh we have a dfa like one this is a q not which is a initial state and having an output a because in mure machine in mure machine the output is associated with the state so the output will be represented in in 
itself in the state. So Q0, comma A with the transition input A, if it is on B, it move to the next state that is Q1 with the output 1. This is A and if we give B to Q1, then it move to the uh, Q0 state. So, if this is the DFA, then how the Moore machine work? Suppose, if, a, if we give an input A, B, okay. So, if we give the input A, B, see what happened. We are uh, initially, initially we are on the Q0 state because Q0 is the initial state. So, initially we are on the Q0 state and on this Q0 state, okay. So, sorry, this is not A, this is 0. So, in Q0 state, the output is 0 and in Q1 state, the output is 1. So, if we uh, give input A, B, A, B, then what will be the output is, initially we, we are on initial state. So, this state gives the output 0. As we move, as we give this A input, this Q0, see here, as we move, as we give A input, a as input to this Q0, it remain in, in the same state. This means in the Q0 state and the output will be 0. Then if we move, if we give B as input this Q0, if we give B on this, on the state Q0, then it will move to the next state that is Q1 and the output associated with is 1. This means while giving the input A, B, the output will be, according to this DFA, the output will be 0, 0, 1. So, this is the final automata with an output. Means, as we, give in, as we are giving input, simultaneously we also produce the output. Okay. So, there is one more thing that in case of Mure, that uh, we can say that on seeing, on seeing, input of length n of length n okay then the output will be of length n plus 1 this is the important part so on seeing input of length n in case of Mori machine the output will be of length n plus 1 so next we see what is what is about the Miele machine Miele machine so, in case of Miele machine, again it consists of 6 tuple that is Q, Sigma, Del, Q0, capital Delta and Lambda where all the symbol, all these 6 symbol except Lambda, except Lambda have same meaning as we discussed in the above section. Okay. So, here the Lambda will be represented as Q into sigma, it gives delta. This means that delta is a function for a state and for a given input, we have associated an output. This is the main difference between Mure and Miele that in case of Mure machine, the output is associated with the state, but in case of Miele machine, the output is associated with the uh, in, uh, output is associated with the input. So, this is the main difference between Mure and Miele. So, in case of Miele, lambda is a function that for a given state and for a given input, the output will be associated. Suppose we have an example like we have a state Q0 which is the initial state and we have a, another state that is Q1. So, on giving the input A, the output will be 0. Then, on give B input, the output will be 1. On Q1, on A input, the output will be 0. And on B input, the output will be 1. So, see here, the output is associated with the input, not with the, not with the state, as we in the, uh, discuss in the Mure machine. So, how this, see, if, if we are providing an input AB, Providing an input 
A B. So what will be the output in case of Miele machine? Initially, we are on the Q naught state. As we see A input, as we see A input, we remain in the same state that is Q naught, and the output will be zero. Then, on seeing B input on Q naught, we move to the next state that is Q one, and the output will be output will be one. So in case of Miele machine, if the out input is A B, then the output will is zero one. So this means that uh, in case of Miele machine, if the input is of length n, of length n, then the output will also uh, uh, will also be the length of n. So this is all about Miele and Mure. So Miele and Mure machine, both machines are come under the category of finite automata with output. Okay, and the basic difference between these two machine are that in case of Mure machine, the output associated with the state, and in case of Miele machine, the output is associated with an input. So in the next video, we will discuss one example on the basis of these two machine that is Mure and Miele. So keep watching my video. Thank you so much.